So welcome to Brad and Elise's finished home. And we, uh, we're here to talk with them. They're behind us with their cute little girls, their little dachshunds, their miniatures. But they're going to come join us in a little while. And we want to talk about how we actually turn this tiny little pita terra of 200 square feet, 220 square feet into 200 and a great home, utilizing absolutely every inch of space that you could. This, this public space is really now what you're walking into. We converted the, the hallway into part of their living space. So we had to change the fire door. We had to change a lot of the electric that was here. And we added a tall, we use eight foot closets here. Um, and you can see we've utilized every inch of space. Uh, I think the funnest, the best projects to do and the most difficult are small spaces. Um, and this is one of the great examples um, of fabulous use of space. So what you can see is they've turned Man this little Manhattan suite actually into their home away from home because they live in New Jersey and spend a lot of time in Manhattan. Um, very high-end finishes on a, on a really um, budget conscious. We knew we had to keep things in perspective but used green product. We have bamboo floors. We have Caesar stone countertops. Um, I think both and we'll introduce Brad and Elise have fabulous taste um, and we incorporated new really the new more modern look and feel and color palette so it felt like their little oasis in a home away from home and as you can see we've used absolutely everything that we could they're very tall ceilings put in new crown moldings uh, rewired um, gosh I can't begin to tell you As we come around the space, they had a custom, we actually did a custom armoire that is technically their Murphy bed. So this leather sofa, some, you take some of the pillows off and it flips out, comes down and the bed folds over the sofa. So they have a wonderful bed that certainly doubles as uh, an attractive unit, more attractive than most than you see for Murphy beds in the city. The other thing that's fabulous is that um, we took tiny closets and literally used every ounce of space. And as you can see, we already probably have to do closet organizing again. Um, and pocket doors, and I'm going to have to move out of the way so you can see this little bathroom. It, it was such a mess. And when you go to the website, you'll be able to see the pictures of the before. This was kind of like a loft, and it made no sense. There was a tub that, that you could really have no sense of space in a very old bathroom that must have had five layers of floor. So we ripped everything out and we started all over again. We had to bring in um, 220 volt electric to actually put in an oven because they didn't have one in the kitchen. But Frank will come in here and you'll see it's just really um, phenomenal, phenomenal space. Crammed to the, to the, you know, to the hilt with their lifestyle, but they have now a lovely little shower um, and b tiny bath. Windows to the outside, we used Carrera marble and stone and, and tumbled slate to feel like a spa. And you can certainly tell that it's a, a well-lived in and well-loved home. But uh, why don't I go get our darling homeowners and we'll have another conversation about the space. So I'll be right back. So here we have Brad and Elise. <laughs> and we have Priscilla Ann. Pebbles. Pebbles. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. So they're going to talk a little bit about the apartment and how they managed to tuck absolutely everything in the decorating of the interiors to become a fabulous little home away from home. And Brad, you're really the engineer of tiny. Yeah. <laughs> well, we tried to do our best um, to make everything fit. We tried to get a lot of small appliances. Uh, we have tiny printers and routers and probably anything micro and compact or dual use that we could find on the internet. Um, I don't know, good examples could be, you know, the dishwasher that we have over here. It's just, it's... Yeah, this is a great one. Yeah. This is a great Reba, right? And it yeah. works really well. KitchenAid. Mm -hmm. So when you see what happens, this is incredible because when it's installed, it's one unit that we put into a, wa a big base and it's, it's just a fabulous design for city living because you don't have room for a dishwasher everywhere. This is one I should put in my little yeah. galley's yeah. kitchen. Mm -hmm. um, you gotta really push it out. Push it, push hard. Yeah. There we go. There but what's great about it is it has a finished top, and now they have a real range. They didn't have one before. We had to pull in all the new wiring over right, there. Right, it's a full size. Right. 
Exactly. Before this was sort of like being in a camper, camper in the city, right? Yeah, and I think too, I mean, Brad found that it was really great. This is this tiny little 24-inch summit. These are wonderful. We've used these in other apartment renovations. It's just so great because it's 24 inches and it's tall. Stainless, looks fabulous. And now you have a full, full service refrigerator instead of the ugly, tiny apartment rental type refrigerators for mm -hmm. small spaces, yeah. right? They're usually terrible. No, no, no. And I really love, I love the combination of this. This is a high gloss, you know, uh, the high gloss modern cabinetry with, the, with this countertop I think is really lovely and, and the porcelain backsplash. It, you guys have a great sense of taste and color and this is cool too. This folds away into a tiny, the typical lovely New York space of when you're celebrating you have guests over. Lift you just lift it up and you move this and put it away, right? So it folds away. It comes out, the other leaf folds too, yeah, so you can actually have side. four people dining. Right, so when you have a party, and you, it's, it's accommodates it's everybody's space, here. Yeah. yeah, so you don't have to really struggle with all that. Well, the fun part is, and we're waiting for this now, we want to definitely show you how the Murphy bed works. So why don't we try that? So, so basically, this is a custom-made leather. And I remember we, we, we had trouble with this because of the baseboard. We really had to talk about exactly where we were cutting the baseboard, as I remember, Brad. Yeah, it was. Uh and then we were late, we had the problems getting the shower unit came from, unfortunately, China and took forever to get here. So these, the manufacturers were really wonderful in being patient with us because we had to wait for the shower to get in here before we could really have them put this in. But see how tight this is? This, this leg unit, we had to really engineer everything. We barely cleared the baseboard here. But what's so great about it is now, you know, you have my gosh, you have like queen size, queen size bed. bed. Queen size. It's a great bed. You don't feel that wasn't like compromising. It was nothing, you, and it was a few seconds. lovely leather sofa, and you, you know, and, and it's fabulous. It's like wow. But we did. We had to cheat. We were cheating a lot of space here. We had to trim the baseboard. But you would never know. You know, you would never know that in the casings. You would just never know. So is it just like the? Is it just an easy touch? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Maybe five. 10 pounds. And then you flip this up? Yeah, flip it up and slide it in. <clears throat> so we don't step on everything. This is really cool. So, and then you have to shut the, obviously shut this off before you put it up. There's a mercury switch yeah, in there also. Don't. You don't. So I didn't have to do that? No. God, how easy was that? That's so cool. Yeah. Wow. What was the name of the manufacturer? We should give them a plug. It was um, Murphy Bed. Murphy, Murphy Bed Center. Yeah. Murphy there we go. We awesome. actually went to the New Jersey one. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Pebbles, did you like that? I think it's cool. Well, we think it's fabulous. So thank you guys for letting us shoot this. And the girls are behaving. It's really cool. So we're hoping that um, we'll get a little bit of mileage about having the best space. What is it for under? Purchased and renovated for under? Oh. I would say around 300. For under three? Yeah. For OK. About, about three. So that's where we were. Very amazing, especially since yeah, you did this. I'm surprised we didn't really have to give up anything. I yeah. mean, you know, we have our snowboards here, yes. and we have we our have roller blades, or ice skates. We have we, we have tennis rackets up here too. Yeah. Everything. We have, we have everything, we have a, we have except for our bicycles. Active, you know? so we have everything so. that we need here. And then you, you still, this chef. Yeah, so I have the kitchen. She's here. a kitchen aide in here. I have kitchen aid in here. It's, it's, it's insane. We wouldn't have to give up. Yeah. Anything to live here. And a great space without yeah. getting <laughs> and without one. having to and to she, spend an exorbitant yeah, amount for being in the city. Oh yeah, they try to make a home under the couch, so they end up under Well, you know, <laughs> little animals are caves. They love caves, so that's really where they come from. Oh gosh. Well thank you guys for letting us invade your space here. It's really wonderful to see it, but it's so great to have been been able to meet you and work with great great clients like you. So we're thrilled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ciao for now. All right, thank you.